Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Frosty Alpha, and today I'm going to give you guys a small little update of what's going on. Uh, if you guys follow me on Facebook, then you've already seen the message already, but uh, I went in today to go record for our Batman Arkham City Let's Play, and for some reason, the file is just gone. I have no idea where it is. Uh, I tried searching in the files, and I have no idea what's going on. So for that, that is going to actually kill our Batman Arkham AC Let's Play for right now. But as it is, the show must go on, and there are other series that I've also wanted to play. Um, one of them was The Last of Us. I'd like to do a Last of Us run-through eventually. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on it for later. I still want to do Batman Arkham Knight, but I wanted to do it in succession with Arkham City, so that kind of has just uh, fallen by the wayside. But there is a game I have been playing for the last few days that I've my wife has my wife loves the game. And she's got, finally got me to sit down and play it, and I've now just started having a lot of fun. It is probably one of the most difficult games I've ever played, and it is up there with being one of the most difficult games out there. And it is part of it is from the developer from Software who has made Demon Souls, Dark Souls one and two. And yes, I am talking about playing Bloodborne now. The game is difficult. It is very difficult. Um, especially because the first time you play it, you have no idea what's going on. You have no idea what you're doing. There is no, uh, there is no, you know, there's no map. There's nobody that tells you, go, hey, go here, or, you know, no quest objectives. It's just the way that it is. So I have been learning the game. My wife has been helping me out. And I've actually been really, really enjoying it. And I've decided I want to bring this to you. Uh, and there's something I'm going to do special for this game, and probably for Dark Souls, because I do want to end up. Uh, I did want to end up actually playing Dark Souls 2 for you guys as well, because uh, after playing this, I, I actually really want to come back and play Dark Souls. So for this, I'm going to do a special thing. In the bottom, I believe, right hand corner is where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put a death counter. Now the death counter counts for every death in the game that I have, either with grinding, boss fights, learning new areas, whatever it is. Anytime I die, that is part of the main story, will get added to the death counter, and we will see how much our death counter will go up to as we go through the game. Now, second thing I want to say is in this, I want to do everything correctly. I want to face every single boss. There are 16 bosses. 17 if you count the special boss at the end, which I will be going to go shoot for. So I will be shooting for killing all 17 bosses. Um, I will be trying to go to Kanehurst. I will be trying to do everything I can. Uh, I will do research before so that way I don't screw up the playthrough. If I do screw it up, I will not be ex I will not be happy, and I'll either do a, a a plus one where I can actually bring you guys the fight because I do eventually want to bring every single fight to the game, uh, to the let's play. So uh, I think it's going to add a lot of fun is watching the death counters. Uh, I do know that there will be times where I will need to grind, and on those ones, I've decided to actually try something new and step out of my comfort zone and try grinding montages. So there will be sections in videos, or there will be a section in maybe in the beginning of the video where you will just you'll hear a song. I will put a song on and then I will speed up the video of me just kind of going out grinding uh, blood echoes and all of that so I hope you guys uh, enjoy the series that's going to come I do know Dark Souls 2 it might be one of the next ones we do after Bloodborne uh, and then we have uh, Dark Souls 3 coming out next year. We have Fallout that's coming out that looks pretty good. I'm not sure. I do have The Witcher, but I'm going to wait to get a new graphics card before I come back and play that one for you guys. Uh, but as it is, I hope you guys are not too horribly mad, and I'm sorry about the way things went down. It's just I can't control it. Uh, so I am actually going to probably sit down and start recording Bloodborne, and hopefully within the next day or two, I'm going to bring you the first video of Bloodborne. Now, oh, for this, I'm sorry, there is one more note that I want to state. The death counter will not start when you die. If those who have played the game, there is a little thing you don't, you don't, I am not going to, sorry, I am rambling. The death counter will not start until you get a weapon. Now, in Bloodborne, when you start, you don't end up with a weapon, and then you go to the Hunter's Dream, and then you get your weapons. The death counter starts as soon as you get a weapon. 
because at this point you only have hand-to-hand -hand combat which does absolutely nothing so I don't count that dying in the beginning as your first death I will start counting as the death counter as soon as I receive a weapon it's it'd be much like a nuzlocke you know the nuzlocke doesn't start until uh, a Pokemon nuzlocke does not start until you receive until you receive pokeballs and that's when the nuzlocke starts so it'll be the same thing here with our death counter our death counter will not start until I receive a weapon but I hope you guys enjoy it and I am sorry again for what happened uh, for I actually still don't know what happened but please stick stay around and I hope that we're gonna have some fun and I hope you guys enjoy me either raging or however this play goes because there have been times where I have just I have literally had to get up and walk away from the game because it is infuriated me that much so I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in our next video where we bring episode one of Bloodborne to you guys. Alright? I'll see you in the next episode, alright? Have a good day.